So chances are you've been playing Funky Friday for quite a bit and you see all of these posters and decals all around the map. And you're probably wondering why the heck these posters are there and who are they exactly? Well I got a treat for you guys today. We're actually going to be 1v1ing and also interviewing the people behind these posters here so that way you guys can get a chance to meet them as well and learn more about them too. So make sure you smack that like and subscribe or else Bob is going to go onslaught mode on you. Make sure you start code attack and let's go meet the posters of Roblox Funky Friday. So, who are you? Oh, I'm Ozzy. I'm Lee Chowder. Funky Friday, I've put the most shots in the game. Uh, I've been here since the start. I, I also manage the Discord, but I mostly do in-game stuff. I play on a controller. It's pretty funny. Awesome. So, what do you do for Funky Friday? For the most part, I... I, I make charts. I use Osu. I use 8 key. I mostly work on the more mainstream songs, or the ones that just sound pretty good. I also get mod permissions from certain mods or stuff you want in the game. So like, which mods have you charted for? I've tried for a decent amount of mods. Some of my friends' mods, but the most notable one I've charted for... I'm really happy about is um, Patty. I've recharted all the songs, and I've charted the new ones that are coming in. Pretty, pretty soon. You think you guys would like it? The tabby that's currently in the game? Yeah, the tabby that's currently in the game. That's actually, the, the new charts aren't even game yet, but they'll be coming within an update. So how did you get a decal of yourself into the game? Let me try to remember here. It was a while ago. It was all the way back in, back in April. I, I charted a lot at the time and I did more than just that. I did, well, I mentioned it earlier. But I remember a good friend of mine named Roll. She just one day out of nowhere just surprised me with this amazing like um, drawing she did. And he was like, hey, look, you're, you're a speaker. You're on the girlfriend. You're, you're the girlfriend. I was like, oh, wow. No, this is swag. And then I remember showing it to Lego one day. I was like, yo, you should add this in a wall. I was like, yo, what? He was like, yo, pick a wall. I was like, okay, I'll pick this one. And it's, it's been there. It was on the old map. It's been in the game for a while. I'm just next to the Peppy machine now. Yeah, it, it was in the old map as well. It's really cool. So if you had one thing to say to the viewers, what would it be? You guys should totally subscribe to Light Interactive. That'd be really funny. Light Interactive, that's right, guys. You're one stop for leaks for Funky Friday. So, who are you exactly? I'm Masters. Uh, you may know me from stuff like the... This is Masters mod uh, in Funky Friday, or you may see my name on some of the charts. Yeah, that's who I am. What do you do for Funky Friday exactly? Uh, so mostly, uh, I do a lot of making the charts for the game. I know some of the custom songs, like the the Toho songs, or the Robotic Whisper remixes, or all stuff like that. And uh, maybe some of the Monster Cat songs too. Uh, you see some of the names saying charted by so and so. You know, some of them are made by me, and that's mostly what I do for the game. Which song was your favorite, by the way? I'd say one of my favorite songs to chart, and I know uh, a lot of uh, people enjoy this one, is uh, Koishi's Theme from Toho. I know a lot of people enjoy playing that. Yeah, that's such a fun song to play. So, how did you get a decal of yourself into the game? I think if I'm remembering correctly, it was around the time Orsi had a decal of him drew by, drew by Roll who drew a lot of the stuff on the walls of Funky Friday. They also drew something for me, a little sprite, and when this is the time when we were working on like the versus masses potentially coming into the game. I, I asked uh, one of the devs like, hey, is it possible if like this little sprite can go in the game, how Orsi has his thing in the game? And then like, oh yeah, sure, we can do this. And then ever since then, it's just been on the walls and very cool. Oh, so Orsi was the first person to get a decal in the game? Uh, I believe so, yes. If I'm remembering correctly, I'm pretty sure he was the first person to have any sprite on the wall. So if you had something to say to the viewers, what would it be? I guess just thank you for enjoying Funky Friday, I guess. Um, I hope, you know, that you continue to enjoy the game as we continue to make updates and more charts and all that. And uh, I guess thank you for watching this video too. Make sure to subscribe. And make sure you play the Versus Masters mod too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, so who are you? I am Julian. I am one of the animators for Versus Imposter, which was pretty cool. So what do you do for Funky Friday specifically? Uh, for Funky Friday, there's not much that I do currently that is public. I am working on a little something, but I'm just very close friends with a lot of the people involved, which is very nice. So you were the animator for the Imposter mod, like ever since the first update or? Um, no, so basically um, for v3 specifically um i designed the parasite which is the 
sort of amalgamation green imposter you see on the final song on week two. Unfortunately, that got to be the only thing I was able to animate because I was in the process of moving during development. So, but I'm still really glad that I got to carry out the entire design and finish it from the start. So that was nice. So how did you get a decal of yourself into the game? That's kind of a callback to the first mod I made, really. It was a boyfriend reskin of myself. I just really used it as a test of how to use Adobe Animate and how to put sprites in the game. I think at some point I remember asking Aussie, like, it would be funny if this was in the game because my friend told me uh, as a joke, like if he ever saw that in the game, he would stop playing. And I thought that would be pretty, pretty funny, so. Did your friend actually stop playing after they did that? Uh, he stopped playing for like a week. <laughs> 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 That's troll. So if you had something to say to the viewers, what would it be? I don't know. Do you guys like Among Us? <laughs> Among Us imposter. Imagine if Among Us just showed up in the video right now. That would be too sus. That would be so funny. So, Wither, who are you exactly? Uh, I'm a chat for Funky Friday. In general, I've been chatting for about four years at this point. Started starting off with uh, Low Beats quite a while ago. When it came to chatting, one thing led to another, and now I'm, now I'm here. Welcome for Funky Friday. Which song did you try at first? The first one I made was probably Ador- I th No, it was Adora Mizushi Buki. I did do one before that, but it had to get scrapped for like copyright reasons, sadly. But it was a good song. So which song would you say is your favorite from Funky Friday? I think to play would probably be King Hit Fifi. I like hard charts. The normal King Hit just had so many jacks, and I found them really just not fun to play, but King Hit Beefy Souls that and I just find it really fun. Other than charting, what else did you do for Funky Friday? I just charted and that's about it. <laughs> I I do contribute a lot of charts. I have a lot that are ready but like aren't out yet. So how did you get a decal of yourself into the game? I think either Aussie told Roll to draw me or Roll just felt like drawing me. But I remember just being randomly pinged when we were chilling in a VC and they're like, oh yeah, the, I'm drawing you. And I was like, oh really? That's really cool. And uh, the next day it was done and it, I just thought it, it, it looked so cute. I liked it. I liked it so much. Yeah, I liked it too. I actually had a really hard time trying to figure out who it was when it first came out. Yeah, I don't have many charts in game. It's hard to really connect it back to me. Something to say to the viewers, what would it be? I guess I do have a Twitter with a JPEG. Other than that, I feel like some advice that I could really give is if you have like an interest in something just give it a try and try and stick to it because you never know where you where you'll be like a year down the line yeah exactly you're always gonna try new things yeah zika who are you exactly so yeah i'm zika i'm um yeah, I've been the Funky Friday Discord server. Uh, I've been promoted from Mod back in July. Basically, what I'm doing is administrating the Funky Friday Discord server, making channels, um, looking over staff members, and you know, creating rules and all that jazz. Is it stressful being an administrator? Uh, honestly, not that much because we have uh, a lot of moderators helping us out while moderation, uh, and I also have Sun who's uh, the community manager of the Discord server, and he also does take an administrative role, so he also helps me out, so it's not really that stressful, I'd say. So how did you get your decal of yourself into the game? So I got my decal in the game, um, maybe you know him, JWords, uh, who's also a content creator of Funky Friday and also in the server. Uh, she drew some of these, you know, Among Us resembling characters, like the crewmate resembling characters, and, you know, that's uh, Zeka decal, I just asked Java if he wanted to uh, include it, or maybe it was Lego, and he just said, yeah, sure, why not? And that's how it got in the game. I didn't really choose where it would be. I just asked him if he could add it because I saw other people's decals being added and he was cool about it and basically I was it. So how come it was Drip, man? Like what specifically <laughs> made you choose that? <laughs> so uh, yeah, that's an interesting question. So my character, uh, as you can see, it's using the new cult, cult scheme, the old school new cult scheme. My Roblox character is pretty much themed around that. I buy like every new themed uh, UGC on the catalog, um, trying to collect all the new attack, new assist, um, limited items. And yeah, and for some reason, when a drip meme was, you know, very like at its height, I just saw that one gold chain on the UGC was like 50, buck, uh, 50 Robux. 
I said that would be funny on my avatar and now it's like a staple thing on my avatar. So if you had one thing to say to the viewers, what would it be? One thing, subscribe to Captain Jack Attack. Very nice, That's man. I appreciate that. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. And also a huge shout out to Rawl. She was the one who drew most of the decals around the map, which is really cool. But make sure you guys smack that like, subscribe, you start code attack, and we'll see you on the next one.